Hi and welcome. Today we're at Virginia State University's Randolph Farm. And we're going to be talking about hydroponic systems. And this is an example of one. We're growing this nice bib lettuce in this more commercial scale hydroponic system. And basically this just means that we're growing plants without soil. We've got nutrient solution that's flowing under these uh, plants and bathing the roots in those nutrients, all those elements that they need. And like I said, this is a more of a commercial system, but I wanted to show you how you might be able to build a system like this for yourself. Let's go take a look at that now. Okay, so this is the DIY hydroponic unit I was talking about. Uh, very simple, very basic, but it's something that you can build yourself. Uh, all the parts and pieces and materials uh, came from one of the home improvement uh, warehouses that you see around uh, wherever you live. Uh, what this will produce is about one head a day, uh, which is a, a pretty good amount uh, for a family. It doesn't take a big, up a big area. It's about three feet wide and about six feet long. Uh, but what you will need to grow plants in here is to be maybe in a greenhouse like this or a much smaller one of course or maybe be indoors with grow lights and the plants can do very well that way so it's very simple the way it works we have a uh, just a simple tote over here that we put fertilizer in water soluble fertilizer and there's a small pump in here it pumps up that nutrient solution to this side of the pipe and we've got these little tubes right here that are inserted in these pipes and these are just two inch pvc pipes and the plant spaces are right here as you see. They're just drilled into here. So when we would plant this, the plants would just go right there. The nutrient solution would flow through here. The roots would take up the nutrients they need. And as it flows through, it's collected in this pipe and then flows back down to this reservoir where it just keeps doing that again and again. So it's a closed loop system. The first thing we start with is gonna be a base or a, a tabletop more or less for, the, for our pipes, for our trays that the plants are gonna sit on. You can make this out of anything uh, that's available to you, but we just used two by fours and these sawhorse brackets and it made a nice uh, little stand here and we got one on this side. This one, the legs are cut a little bit longer because this is taller and this is shorter so that the water flows through the pipes down to this end. So after that, uh, if you remember, we had a drain pipe down here and we have these simple brackets that we just uh, screw into here and they're going to hold that four inch drain pipe that's going to eventually send that nutrient solution back to the reservoir. And so then once, once that's in, you can adjust it and adjust the height so that this also drains back in this direction to where the reservoir was sitting. Now, what we've got to do next is put something on the top of this because those round pipes, as they're sitting on here, will move. And what we've got right here is this plastic closure you can buy at a home improvement warehouse, just like all these parts and pieces. Um, and we just set it up here and when the pipes set on this, since they're round, they're not going to move. So we're just going to put this in here with a few screws. Uh, pretty simple uh, way to, to get this in here. For the tubes that are going to hold the plants, these trays are uh, just two inch PVC pipe that you can buy from a home improvement warehouse. Uh, I cut them in half. They come 10 foot long, cut them in half, and this is a five foot piece. And we're going to space these so there's about seven holes in each one of these five foot pieces. So each hole is about eight, eight inches on center or so. So what I'm going to just use uh, is a hole saw. We're going to, I built, I put a little pilot hole here. We're going to go ahead and get started here and drill this hole. There we go. And we're going, to, we're going to clean this up, get all these burrs off here. And that's the way we do it. So we've got our pipes all laid out here. And I've uh, put an end cap on this side so that the water won't leak out potentially here. And I've also drilled a hole in this end cap so that uh, we can put the tube that, that uh, inputs the water into the pipe. So the first thing to do here is to put, get some PVC glue. Really messy stuff, so you want to be really careful with it. And you might even want to test fit this to make sure that it's going to go on pretty well. It is. And we put a little bit of glue uh, inside this and we'll put a little bit on the pipe itself. And we're going to be careful here. We're going to make sure that it slides on there all the way and that the, uh, the hole is pointing up or at the highest part. And then we're going to walk around and we're going to do the same thing on this other end except we're going to have a 90 degree fitting which will allow the nutrient solution to, uh, to flow out into the catchment tube. So we're just going to do the same thing here. A little bit of glue on this, a little bit of glue on the pipe. And we're going to make sure that it's pointing at a 90, degree 90 degrees down. So now as you look at this, we've got all these in place. You can kind of see the spacing, eight inches apart. 
uh, and they're six inches apart the tubes are themselves because of these closures and the way that they're set up. But what we've done is stagger them. We have a, um, a hole here and a hole here and then back up to a hole here and so forth. So it's all staggered. So it ends up giving the lettuce, if you're growing lettuce like we were over there, uh, it gives them a little bit more space. We've made this pretty simple uh, manifold with half inch tubing and we've got this smaller tubing here and we've got these smaller fittings that just go in here. We drill a hole, push these in here, push the uh, quarter inch line over top of that. We'll just bend the end here and put a wire tie over it to stop that. And then on this farther end, we've got a, just a 90 degree uh, fitting that we're going to connect to the uh, pump. So I'm going to secure this to the 2x4 brace here and we'll insert these in the pipes and we'll get the pump running. Okay, so now we're talking about the drainage system. And as you can see here, these pipes um, are going to be loosely fit inside this 4 inch drain. I've just cut openings or holes in here with this 3 inch hole saw. But we want these to be a little loose so that if we have to move these or adjust them, we can. And there's no pressure here. And nothing's going to leak out of this. So it's really going to go into this. This is uh, sloped in such a way that it's going to drain back this way and right back into this, uh, into this little tank right here. Well, we've plugged this small submersible pump in and you can see it's starting to run. So this thing is ready to plant. Remember, this is uh, a water-based system. So there's going to be some leaks and some adjustments you need to make. Uh, so, so think about where you place this because it, it could leak a little bit of water uh, as you're using it. Uh, so overall, a pretty easy uh, plan to put together this system. Most, most people that are handy with tools and construction can do this, and, and you can grow some food for your family. On a future episode, we're going to talk a little bit about how to plant and how to harvest this. For From the Ground Up, I'm Chris Mullins. We'll see you next time. From the Ground Up is presented with the generous advice and assistance of Virginia Cooperative Extension. Visit their website at ext.vt.edu.